back here with the chestnut trees back here on the small acreage we ran out of time yesterday i had to go get the kids from school but i was kind of scared about leaving these essentially unprotected uh from the deer because there is so many deer there's such a high population of deer around here i really thought they're going to see something new and want to come in and investigate first glance around here uh nothing seems to be messed with um, but i'm going to show you guys what i'm going to be doing to hopefully keep the deer off of it as you can see i got the plastic guards on the bottom here that I've placed on each tree um, and I explained those in, a, in another video in the last video but basically they kind of grow with the tree they're also going to kind of protect the bottom there for any rodents or uh, anything so when I get my fence up so I'm going to use this uh, welded wire fencing this is the, the fencing that I'll be putting around the perimeter of the tree potentially like rodents can easily go inside of these wires right and chew at the very bottom of that bark right there which if they were to chew too much, they could kill the tree. If they were to put a ring around it, they'd definitely kill it. And uh, we're just trying to prevent that. So that's what this plastic here at the bottom is going to, to hopefully prevent. Rabbits and stuff can dig under there. Any other little critter like that that wants to sit there and nibble on these little trees, it will hopefully keep them away from that. So I want to show you guys exactly, you know, kind of how I'm going to be putting this around this tree. This is what we did at the park uh, that I worked at uh, for a summer. We would, they, of course, park deer, if you don't know, a lot of times they uh, are habituated to human activity. And so we'd have these like super pristine uh, fields and we'd plant trees and the deer would come up and they would just wreck them immediately. Because they're habituated to human activity, they're also pretty habituated to things like, uh, like man-made objects such as fencing and, and stuff like that that we might put there and as well as scent and so by placing these cages around these trees you know it it, it does a very good job of keeping them away from it now they, if they really wanted to tear it down they probably could if they worked at it but it definitely saves more first thing you want to do is basically figure out what kind of size that you need to around, have around it obviously if you got a lot of branches you're going to want something that's a little bit bigger this is basically you know your tiny little bare root stock tree so you're not going to need a whole bunch but i am going to make it a little bit bigger uh, just to give it plenty of room i don't want anything reaching through there so then you just cut it to the size that you need i like to leave i like to cut it as close to i can as i can onto one side that way i can leave um a longer piece of wire sticking out and uh, I'll show you why here in a second. All right, so once I've got my fence cut how I want it, we're just gonna roll it out. And now I'm gonna use these things I left long here. I'm gonna hook it onto itself like so. Then I can just wrap these around. So I make sure these are pretty secure because if not, if, if, if they find any kind of weakness in it, they will rip this thing to shreds. Especially when it starts uh, brushing out, getting lots of little leaves on there. They love those little tender leaves. And then if, if, you, have, if you have a tree out here in like the middle of a a food plot like I do here they are just they just can't help themselves like bucks especially when they're starting to rub they just cannot help it they have to come out here they have to check this tree out they have to you know maybe put a scrape around it or rub it up it's like they just cannot stand having a lone tree out there they just got to destroy it and so it's really hard to get these trees established when they do that even if they are for their own benefit they don't realize that you're planting you know a food source for them obviously so they just rip it all up and there's just something about it. it's just kind of like a territorial marker that they can use that's very you know visual and so if they can put a rub on there they just can't help themselves so anyway i've got this now secure and i want to get it around the tree as much as possible so that you know it can't get close so it has a little bit of room to branch out leave you know for this one 
I'm leaving about a foot and a half, about 18 inches or whatever around the entire perimeter of the plant now. I'm gonna get my steel post. I'm gonna put those on each side here to give it some rigidity so it doesn't just collapse. So I'm gonna stick those into the ground like so. I'm gonna take this off for a bit. I get my post hole digger or my post hole post pounder. Try to get them as straight as possible here. And put them into the ground a good bit. All right, once you're happy, both into the ground, quite a bit there, pretty strong. Place my fence back around it. And now, the only thing left to do, this is just some extra wire, I'm just kind of securing it with, but you want to take your wire here, just cut you off. Between four to six pieces is usually enough. Three on each side makes it pretty sturdy. Two is probably good enough, but if you go the extra mile, sometimes it can pay off. You wanna make sure it's pretty close to the thing. If they can get underneath of it and rip that off, they will. So I like to get her pretty snug. A lot of times grabbing two different pieces of wire on the fencing is a good idea just to give it some strength. These will break. Um, so just a little fun fact for you. A lot of times uh, people who raise goats, they won't use these. They'll use the uh, woven wire because this part here that attaches, the two pieces of wire that attach, that'll actually, it's like not completely welded. It's not welded wire, not permanently attached. So it, it does have some spin on it. So when the goats and stuff will press their foot on it, this will flex and not break. But this is welded wire. It, it, will, it will break if you apply a whole bunch of pressure on it. But... Honestly, I, I haven't had, if I do this and I got this guard, I've had really good luck. Uh, this is what we do. We did in the park. This is what they told us to do and it worked fabulously. Never really had any problems with deer messing with the trees. And those deer there, they are not afraid of human scent at all. They're not afraid of man-made objects. Doesn't bother them one bit. So if any kind of deer are gonna destroy it, those would be it. Okay, so now that I've done that, I'm gonna do that to each one of these trees. So now if you wanna take another step, they make a product, it's a solar powered electric fence. You can get pretty cheap fence post. And so what you can do is you can put some fence posts, those cheap ones, uh, they're, they're like a fiberglass, stick into the ground and they have this little curly cue at the very top that's like rubberized sort of and that electric fence can just go through those that little curly cue fairly easily. And uh, I will I will set this up eventually in another video. Um, so if you just want to hang tight for that, if I if I don't explain it very well, but if you want to get started on this, I wanted to go over it real quick. Um, so they got your curly cue. You stick those in the ground around your perimeter, and then you run an electric line, a woven electric line around that, and then you just plug it into a solar powered electric fence. It will do the trick uh, and give it a little bit more security. You can you can run you can go as crazy with that as you want. Uh, I've seen a lot of videos and stuff where guys will do like three strand all the way around, and then they'll 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 come up a few feet and then they'll put another strand or two, uh, you know, a few feet away from that strand. So these deer basically, you know, they're gonna get shocked. They're not gonna get through this fence without getting shocked. And so after a few times they get shocked, typically they'll kind of stay away from it. And uh, a lot of times they'll do that with like food plots and stuff like that. For these trees, I think having um, my wire cages around them, and then um, if they still bother the wire cages or if they get a few, 
I will then come back in with the electric, but I really think this is probably gonna be enough to at least keep them away from it for now. So here's my complete setup. Got my tree inside, got my bottom there, plastic wrapped around there. Uh, it can grow with the tree, like I said, so shouldn't affect the tree's growth at all. Just protect that bottom there, close to the ground for rodents. Then I got my two sturdy fence posts set in the ground and my wire welded fence around that. And those are secured with three strands of wire on each side to the fence post. And this can also be reinforced um, with some more fence posts. So you could put your other fence post, put one right here and one right here on the other side. And now you've basically got all four sides that are protected. But uh, I don't have enough fence posts to do that today. I may come back if I get some more fence posts and go ahead and do that because uh these are not cheap trees are not cheap at all so you got to do whatever you can to protect these it's an investment it's great for wildlife these chestnuts you know they were supposed to be here uh, they got wiped out by the blight whitetails love them turkeys love them squirrels love them humans love them um, they're a really good species I think to have on the farm I've been wanting to do this for a really long time and I finally you know got the finances to where I can actually get some trees spend some money on some trees and then uh get all the equipment and whatnot to put uh, around them to protect them definitely keep you guys updated on these whitetail hill chestnut trees um, i got the pawpaw trees too got a lot of wire uh to put around all these trees so i need to get started on that but thank you guys for tuning in uh if you like this kind of stuff make sure you hit the subscribe button if this uh, has helped you in any way i'd appreciate it if you hit the like button anyway i will see you guys in the next video take care and happy hunting